Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will use mean and standard deviation of a data set to fit it to a normal distribution and to estimate population percentage. So let us discuss about normal distribution and area under normal curve. First of all, let us discuss normal curve. Now see the following histogram. Here data is symmetrically distributed and it has only one highest bar. Also the corresponding bars on the right and left side of the highest bar are equal in size. And if we draw a freehand curve starting from the midpoint of the first bar to the midpoint of the highest bar and coming down to the midpoint of last bar, we get a bell-shaped curve which is symmetric. So, the shape of distribution is symmetric curve having one peak and it is divided at the center so that one part is near image of the other and the highest point is at the center where mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Such a curve is called normal curve. Now let us discuss normal distribution. Now a normal distribution is a frequency distribution that often occurs when there are large number of values and it is continuous distribution. The graph of this distribution is symmetric, bell-shaped curve, which is called normal curve. The shape of the curve indicates that the frequencies of the distribution are concentrated around the center portion of the distribution. Now see, the middle three bars, so most of the portion is around center and a small portion of the population occurs at the extreme values. See the last two bars small portion is at the ends. Now let us see parameters of normal distribution. Now normal distribution is a theoretical model of population. It depends on the mean and standard deviation of population. Mean describes its center and standard deviation describes the shape of the curve that is how far will be the two ends of the curve from the center. Now let us discuss use of normal distribution. The normal distribution occurs quite frequently in real life Standardized test scores, length of newborn babies, size of manufactured items and production levels can all be represented by normal distribution. In all these cases, 
the number of data values must be very large for the distribution to be approximately normal. Now let us discuss properties of normal curve. First is graph is symmetric about center and it is bell shaped. Second property is the maximum point reached by the curve is at the mean and mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Now let us discuss area under normal curve. Now to draw a normal curve we take horizontal axis. Now the points taken on the horizontal axis represent values that are certain number of standard deviation from mean. See the normal curve. Here each interval represents one standard deviation and here the central value is taken as mean which is denoted by x bar or mu. Here the values greater than mean that is on right side of mean are taken as x bar plus sigma, x bar plus 2 sigma, then x bar plus 3 sigma and so on where sigma denotes population standard deviation and since the curve is symmetric so values on the left side of mean are taken as x bar minus sigma x bar minus 2 sigma x bar minus 3 sigma and so on and the total area under the normal curve above horizontal axis is 1. It also represents total probability of the distribution Now let us discuss distribution of area. Now since mean divides the graph in two equal parts, so 50% values are on the right side of the mean and 50% values are on the left side of the mean. Now here we have drawn this curve and we can see that about 68% of the data or area lies between x bar minus sigma and x bar plus sigma that is 34% plus 34% which is equal to 68% of the data lies between x bar minus sigma and x bar plus sigma. Then about 95% of the data or area lies between x bar minus 2 sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma that is 13.5% plus 34% plus 34% plus 13.5% which is equal to 95% of the data lies between x bar minus 2 sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma and about 99% of data or area lies between x bar minus 3 sigma and x bar plus 3 sigma so about 68% of the values are within one standard deviation of the mean. 
about 95% of the values are within two standard deviations of the mean and about 99% of the values are within three standard deviations of the mean. Now we know that 68% of the data lies between x bar minus sigma and x bar plus sigma since equal area is distributed on both sides of the center so 34% of the area lies on right side and 34% of the area lies on left side of the mean that is 34% of the area lies between x bar minus sigma and x bar and 34% of the area lies between x bar and x bar plus sigma. Similarly, 13.5% of the area lies on the left side of the mean that is between x bar minus 2 sigma and x bar minus sigma and 13.5% of the area lies on the right of the mean that is between x bar plus sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma also 2% of the area lies on the left side of the mean and 2% of the area lies on the right side of the mean so we can sketch a normal curve when we know the mean and standard deviation for example, from population of 2000 volts, the average number of hours it can work is 250 hours and population standard deviation is 20 hours. Now to draw a curve, we will find all the points that is x bar minus sigma, x bar minus 2 sigma, x bar minus 3 sigma and x bar plus sigma, x bar plus 2 sigma, x bar plus 3 sigma and we write them on horizontal axis and draw the curve. Now here mean that is x bar is given as 240 and population standard deviation that is sigma is given as 20. So x bar minus sigma will be equal to 240 minus 20 that is equal to 220 then x bar plus sigma is equal to 240 plus 20 which is equal to 260 similarly x bar minus 2 sigma is equal to 200 and x bar plus 2 sigma is equal to 280 then x bar minus 3 sigma is equal to 180 and x bar plus 3 sigma is equal to 300. Now we have written all these values on the horizontal line. Now we will draw vertical lines at these points keeping in mind the symmetry about the mean. So we have drawn vertical lines at these points. Keeping in mind the symmetry about the mean. Now we will join the top of these lines by freehand. So we have joined the top of these lines by freehand. And this is the required normal curve. Now suppose we want to find number of bulbs that can work between 220 to 280 hours. Now let us see that what percent are between, that is what percent of wells are between 220 to 280 hours. So we have to check the percentage between x bar minus sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma. Now we know the percentage distribution under this normal curve. So, required percentage between x bar minus sigma and x bar plus 2 sigma is equal to 34% plus 
प्लस थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट विच इज इक्वल टू एटी वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सो नंबर ऑफ बर्ड्स दैट कैन वर्क बिटवीन टू ट्वेंटी टू टू एटी आवर्स इज इक्वल टू एटी वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ बर्ड्स दैट इज टू थाउजेंड Now this is equal to 81.5 upon 100 into 2000, and I'm solving. This is equal to 1630. Also, here the area represents probability. Like here, 68% of the area represents probability of. 0.68. So in this session we have discussed about normal distribution and area under normal curve. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.